All right, welcome back. We're going to move on now to Class 3A. News 10 Sports' Jonathan Bulot brings us to Abbeville with more from the number two seeded Wildcats taking on Richwood. First week of playoffs here in Abbeville as the 31 seeded Richwood Rams travel into Abbeville to take on the number two seeded Wildcats in their explosive high powered offense. Big game for playoff implications in Class 3A, and Abby Lill looked hot out the gate. Second quarter, Wildcats start off the drive with a give up the right side, taking some Rams defenders with the running back. A couple of plays later, and the Wildcats run the QB keeper up the left side before Jamil Cloman stops him in his tracks. This would lead to an Abbeville punt. Rams take over on the 30-yard line and look to get to work. Dontavian Neighbors taking the ball on the read option and is met at the line by a pack of Wildcats. Same drive, Neighbors looks left and finds his receiver Devin Hampton for a first down gain up past midfield. But Abbeville takes this game by a final score of 53-22 to and will advance to take on the winner of Erath and Wassman. Reporting in Abbeville, Jonathan Bulot, KLFY News 10 Sports. All right, thank you, Jonathan. North DeSoto visiting rain. First play of the drive for the Wolves. Quarterback Dylan Judis dumps it off to Kylan Wheeler. He picks up a first down. A few plays later on fourth, North DeSoto's defense comes up with a sack, forcing a turnover on downs there. And then first play for the Griffins. Quarterback Jeffer Easter throws it deep to Destin Williams for the touchdown. And the Griffins take this game 34-16 to and advance. Catholic Point Capi on the road taking on the Screaming Eagles of BC, Vermilion Catholic. Take a look at this interception. Andrew Jewell for the Hornets along the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Uh, next defensive stand by the Hornets. It's Traven Moore taking the sweep up the left side. The ball comes free at the end. Hornets get another takeaway. Vermilion Catholic takes the game, though. 37 36. What a barn burner there. St. Fred's all the way from Monroe going head to head against the OC Vikings. Warriors up by seven. Chris Brown gets the pass from Mark Collins to give Opelousas Catholic their first score. They fake the PAT and get the two point conversion to give them the lead there. Uh, that didn't last long though, as Michael Thompson puts the Jets on and takes it all the way. The Vikings season comes to a close as St. Fred's wins 14 to eight in Opelousas. Well, a battle between two 3A teams looking to move into the second week of the playoffs. Houston's Caitlin Johnson is in Erath with the update. Caitlin? For the first week of playoffs, I'm here tonight at Erath High School where they're facing off against Wasman High School from Monroe. Let's check out some highlights. Ball handoff to Trent Bristow. He takes it up the open lane, sliding past a couple of Wildcats right before one takes him down for a Bobcat first down. Slant route to Bobcats number four. He carries it up the field for a Bobcat touchdown. Lincoln Romero moves up in the pocket to find the open man. Pass complete to Erath's Trent Bristow. He runs it up the field and takes it to the house for another Bobcat touchdown. Moving on to round two of playoffs next week is Wasman High School. They finish with a final score of 34 to 29. In Erath, I'm Caitlin Johnson, KLFY News 10 Sports. All right, Caitlin, thank you so much. And when the team advances to the playoffs, hey, so do the mascots. And the mascots were out on the first Friday of the postseason. We'll take you to Madeline's mascots. First up, we have the Opelousas Catholic Viking waving the flag there. And then we'd have the St. Martinville Tiger saying hello, waving to us. And then the Westgate Tiger with the cheer squad. Madeline's mascots love seeing everybody every week. All right,